I even keep it for, for four months one time. And here you go guys, we have a dough nice and properly saved. So I'm gonna welcome to the best pizza channel. Hello guys from my Studio Copelli, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be fantastic. Thank you. Thank you that you're here and dedicating your time to watch my videos. Thank you. So I'm gonna give you a thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, after this, if you are new, and also if you are a pizza lover, please subscribe to support my channel. <laughs> I have more than 400 videos just for you to become a pizza pro. Subscribe. After this, get excited because uh, I'm going to show you finally today <sighs> very special video that you're going to need this. After thousand, trust me, thousand of people that ask me, Vito, how to freeze the dough? I'm going to show you how to properly freeze the pizza dough because every time we make pizzas and then we have dough left and then maybe today we feel good and we want to make uh, a bunch of pizzas so uh, and then of course not all the pizzas been used I'm going to show you uh, how to properly freeze the dough because it's a way that over this year I studied personally uh, I did some experiments and everything and then I find the way how to properly freeze the dough in the perfect way. So I hope you are going to share this video and I hope you're going to like this video. First thing to do here is this, pay attention. We have to make sure that the dough is at the point of fermentation, the point that is ready to use. So at that point is when the dough is going to be in the freezer. First thing to do here is uh, let's uh, reach the point of fermentation. This way I'm going to show you what's the point of fermentation, the point that is ready to use because right now it's growing. So uh, it's gonna be another hour or so. So I'll see you in about one hour and then uh, I'm going to show you uh, the next step to properly freeze the dough. Here you go guys, we just finished to make the pizzas, fabulous pizzas. Mm. <laughs> Still hot and uh, take a look we have a lot of dough left so what we do the point of fermentation the right point to use the dough and the right point the right time to go ahead and freeze the dough so look at this this is the point of fermentation the right point or the of the dough when you are gonna use it take a look perfect not overproof not not uh, less proof so we are going to close it right away, everything, no air, voila. And uh, here we go guys, now is the right time to go ahead and put it in the freezer. So take a look, we're gonna go ahead and just put, just put exactly as it is, flat surface, straight, don't put it like this. I got a gelato too. Okay, so like you can see, the dough is in the freezer. Nice. Gelato. And now, we let it stay like this. Two, three months. I even keep it for, for four months one time, and the dough was good. Or, of course, all these things like this big in the freezer is too much. So, uh, I'm gonna let it freeze completely, and uh, I'm going to show you what to do next. I'm gonna put it in the way that you save a lot of space. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. 24 hours passed by and uh, here we go. So I wanna properly uh, save uh, some space and properly uh, save the dough in the freezer for a long time. So this is the next step what to do. After 24 hours, this is what you're gonna do. Let's go ahead and let's uh, take off the plastic. Like you can see, ta, 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 ta. the dough is nice and uh, freeze, completely frozen. Make sure you do this uh, quick, you don't spend hours this way. 
you don't defrost the dough. Like you can see, nice. So now, basically, we have to detach the, uh, the dough. You can go like this, and then you see that the dough will get detached. Okay, there we go. Voila. So this is the dough, like you can see, nice. And now, that's how you properly save the dough in the freezer. So each one, one by one, go ahead and let's close it all. So there we go, we got one, and that's how we do it, all of them. Voila. So now, we're gonna go ahead and put it back, all of these, in the freezer. Simply, now we have dough for, uh, for a couple of days. So let's go back in the freezer. And uh, here you go guys, we have a dough nice and properly saved. So I'm gonna put it in the freezer and then I'm gonna like how I want to. Voila. See, nice, nice. So now, I'm gonna wait a couple of days just to show you in the video, but even like this, it can stay in the fridge for a long time. And then if you're going to take off all the air, it can stay even longer. So, but like this is, uh, uh, is good for about uh, three to four months. I tried for after four months and it was good. So I'm gonna show you the next step, very important. The next step is very important. So now that we have the dough in the freezer, I'm going to show you the next step, how to properly defrost the dough. So let's see you in a, in a little bit. Good evening. So yes, now I'm about to go to sleep. And uh, basically the day before at night, take out uh, the dough balls that we are going to need. Uh, the dough balls that we are going to need uh, for tomorrow. So I'm going to make uh, three pizzas tomorrow. And uh, here we go. We have uh, three pizzas. So I'm gonna show you what to do next. Okay, here you go, guys. Uh, the dough is nice and freezer. So we need a pan, any kind of pan. It's not very important. Then that's what we're gonna do. If you have semolina, it's good. If you don't have semolina, go ahead and use the flour. So let's put a little bit of uh, semolina on the bottom. Then let's get our dough nice and freeze. Hello? Let's go ahead and let's put the, the dough inside the pan, just like that. Let's go ahead and let's place it right there. Now again, a little bit of a semolina on top, or flour in this case. This way, the plastic right there we're gonna put is not gonna go ahead and is not gonna stick to the dough. Let's go ahead and let's close everything. And here we go, we're gonna go ahead and put the dough in the fridge. Just like that, close it. And now, at this point, we, let, we go to sleep, we let it stay in the fridge overnight. So, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. Here we go, let's take, let's take our dough out, and uh, voila, our dough, like a magic, it's ready. See, nice, we just check, nice and soft, because uh, overnight in the fridge was uh, slowly bring it back to temperature, bring it back to alive, basically. We are ready to go ahead and make the pizza. Let me show you. Here you go, the dough is ready, and now I'm going to show you how to make the perfect pizza with the, with the dough that we freeze a month ago, yes. You can freeze also two months, three months ago. Take out the fri uh, take out the dough from the fridge one hour before. This way, the dough gets uh, at room temperature. Let's go ahead and let's make the pizza. There we go. Let's take out uh, the plastic wrap. Like you can see, the flour that we put before helps to not stick the dough to the to the plastic. 
so that's uh, how we find the dough right away nice we touch that is not really really cold this way we don't have the black dots on the pizza let's take, let's get the the semolina let's dump the semolina on top of the dough just like that don't be shy now that we put the flour on the on the dough let's take it out just like that make sure you go around the dough needs to be taken out just like that there we go take a look let's put a little bit of flour on the floor this way we're ready to stretch on top just flip it over very important the rest of the dough let's go ahead and let's cover up again with the plastic wrap or uh, whatever you have if you have a lid go ahead with the lid the important thing is that it needs to be nice and covered otherwise it's gonna go ahead and dry out if we're going to use it we keep it outside if you don't go if you are not going to use it let's put it in the fridge for uh, uh, one day it's good so there we go let's take it out now let's go ahead and let's stretch the pizza if your dough is a high hydrated don't stretch it too much you want to keep about 10 inches so now let's uh, explode the, the bubbles that we have otherwise they get they get black and uh, let's go ahead and let's put let's make the classic cheese pizza just to show you olive oil to help the cooking part let's get the peel pinch it and then get the peel under very easy now pinch it and let's make at this point let's make it a little bit bigger and let's go ahead in the oven of course the oven is a little bit low because we see there is black on top but uh, it's still good to show you the pizza how it will cook the pizza usually cooks in about two minutes approximately And the pizza is nicely done and ready like you can see it's perfect remember the oven was a little bit low so the the, the, the mozzarella starts already to bubble and when it starts to bubble that means it's burning so but this is just to show you the crust how it is and the crust come out perfect like a fresh like from yesterday I mean it's crazy now let's finish the pizza we put a little bit of basil on top of the pizza voila voila couple of leads the perfection people says that uh, it's just pizza well I'm telling you it's not just pizza this is lifestyle little bit of uh, olive oil and the pizza it's uh, complete So now let's go ahead, let's cut the pizza because this is the best part. Nice and crunchy. Take a look of the pizza. Voila. Nice. It's a full of air, that's what we want. Nice, soft, crunchy in the same time. And this is the best part the eating considering to please to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and thank you so much for the huge support mm. outstanding <laughs>